Hi everybody, this is Gavin from Gavin's Gadgets. Hope you guys are keeping well. And today I'm going to be reviewing the X-Duo XD05 BAL, which stands short for balanced. Now, I'm gonna show you what's in the box. Normally I'm not that fussed about doing, you know, massive sort of unboxing, but there is so much this comes with that it's worth just spending a couple of minutes going through what's in the box and some of the uh, features. Now, okay, so this is the box. We're gonna take a look at what you get in the box. But just to run through some of the uh, things on the back, it tells you here that it's uh, ideal for Android, iOS, Windows, and it's hi-fi audio. It shows you here some of the specs, the USB um, SP diff, the 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Um, gives you the USB, um, what it can do on the USB. As you can see, it's quite a broad range. Also, the DSD can go up to uh, 512. It has AES, it has optical, it has coaxial. Uh, it details the Bluetooth format, so the basic AAC, SBC, Aptex, Aptex, Low Latency, Aptex, HD, LDAC, and a few other uh, options here. And it highlights on the bottom, it's 5,000 milliamp battery, um, obviously Bluetooth. But really, what I want to show you is what you get in this box, because it's pretty impressive. So take the lid off and first of all you to take this out here you have this um, little uh, plaque you can see that which just has the details on it which is quite nice this one side here in this little box you have some instruction guide which tells you how to replace the op amps, and I'll talk more about that in the sound quality, but you do get everything in the box here, and it does um, show you everything, how you do, what you don't do, um, so you've got some full instructions. These are spare op amps, which I'll talk more about in the sound quality, what you can do, having extra op amps, and what, how they sound like, you have the device itself, which is here, and I'll come back to that in one second. Take the first shelf off, and now we're left with all the accessories that you get. And boy, oh boy, do we get a lot in the box here. And this one here, we have the following items. So this is a non-slip pad, which is really good. You then have three different USB-C connections. So that's USB-C to Lightning. This is USB-C to Micro. And this is a USB short to USB-C short. So you've got everything you need in, in that side of things to connect to a portable device. In this box here, look what you get. So in this box you had the warranty card, your quick start guide and that's quite handy to look at because it shows you, um, I'll just open this up, give you an idea how detailed that is. So that gives you everything you should need to know. And yeah. And on the back, if you're right about that all being in um, a language you can understand, here it is in English. So it tells you everything you need to know. And there's quite a bit of information on this manual. 
which I'll cover some of the key features of as I talk through the sound quality. So you have your 3.5 to 6.3 adapter. Uh, when you're changing your amps, it does give you the right size screwdriver here. Very nice. In here, you have some um, rubber feet and some pins there as well. And in case you lose any of the screws, it does give you some spare screws when you change the op amps. So can there really be any more? Well, there is. There's one more box here. Let's open this box. I absolutely love this. I mean, you're obviously using this, so it's not, I was a bit of, um, I was tied together, but that's USB-C to USB-C. That's a really nice, I love the color cable. And there is a few more items here. Aren't you impressed by everything you've seen so far in terms of the accessories I am? So this is the AES to AES cable, which I'll explain more about. And if you are using the USB-C and you need it to the USB-A, it does have an adapter in the box. So you literally just plug that in like so. So you literally have all the possible accessories you could ever want that come with this. But let's take a closer look at the device itself. So you can get a cloth, wipe my fingerprints off the thing. So what you've probably noticed is that this is plastic, there's plastic sides here. That's so the Bluetooth antennas can actually um, all work, no problem at all. So if I take a look at this side here, you have the 6.3, the balance 4.4, on-off switch, like so. You have the boost switch, which I'll explain, that's not a bass boost, it's a voltage boost, but I'll explain the difference that it has with certain headphones as we talk about the sound quality, high and low gain. On the side, you have this volume control here, and I'll explain what I think about that. Um, you have the antenna, that's plastic, you have the official um, quality control labels as well. On this side here, you have the uh, input selector, filters, and I'll talk about the different filters as well when I'm going through the review and I'll tell you what each filter does and your Bluetooth pairing. On this side, on the back, you have aux in or out, your coaxial optical, so that's input, charging, DC, five volts, that's your AES connector, that's your USB in, and here you can say whether you want to run, use the battery, or if you're using it as a desktop, slide that across, and it will just use the power from the, um, the mains plug you've got, and not the battery, although it does actually charge the battery until it's fully charged. So that's quite good. Okay, so now I'm gonna talk about sound quality, using it, what it's like to use, different options and stuff like that. Let's go for it. Okay, so we're back again, and you've seen what's in the box. I hope, like you, you were really impressed by everything and seeing the device close up. So as you can see, and as you went through, there is a 6.3 and a 4.4, millimeter inputs or sockets for plugging your headphones in on the front. Now they both put out one or a thousand milliwatts of power, whether it's unbalanced or balanced, and that's apparently continuous. So that's a lot, a lot, a lot of power. So inside here, I'm just gonna get my notes, um, it's a fully balanced circuit, and extra have gone for using two, that's right, two Sabre, uh, ES9038Q2M DAC chips. There's a, quite a few other little chips inside here to make this work with because it has quite a few different options in terms of digital inputs on the back from optical, coaxial, USB, AES. And then you've got the analog aux in or out as well. Now, when you use the 4.4 um, balanced uh, headphone output, it does improve the signal noise uh, ratio, signal to noise ratio quite a lot, and also the um, 
I would just call it like dynamic range is a lot, lot better when you're in that balanced um, output. But the good news is that if you're putting, um, if you're just using the unbalanced 6.3, then you've got the same power available. Now, when it comes to Bluetooth, um, you've got all the codecs, SBC, AAC, Aptex, Aptex Low Latency, Aptex HD, and LDAC. They are all present as well. It takes five hours to recharge this. You get up to nine hours on the USB. The SP diff input gives you 15, and you get 24 hours if you're just using the aux in option. So how does it sound? So I'm gonna cover sound wirelessly, and then sound digitally, and the difference using IEMs, and a variety of headphones. Now I use a set um, piece in terms of tracks to listen to as a minimum, these are what they are, but I obviously have and have listened to a ton more different tracks. Now one thing that I did explain was that on the front you have the power switch on and off, um, you then have the boost button which increases the volts from eight volts to 13, which is very good for low sensitivity headphones. Some planars will really benefit from that, um, as will very hard to drive headphones uh, as well. And then you've got the gain low or high. Now as it has 6.3, it does come with an adapter that's 6.3 to 3.5, so no problem there at all. Now one neat trick on the back is that you can independently charge this um, with the USB. It does have an option to use it just using USB charging or your mains charging and not be using the battery to drive this. That will just increase longevity. So what does this sound like? So let's just take a few different headphones and I'll run through what it sounds like. So here we have the Sigma Phoenix headphones. These are really easy to drive or relatively easy to drive headphones and these sound terrific so with this uh, these are actually configured with a cable I've bought um, that is a 4.4 balanced and you're hardly moving the volume gauge too much maybe two um, maybe three and this is you know really uh, tight and slow and doesn't just suddenly fly forward um, at first I'll be honest the volume is it's feels a bit awkward, but you get used to it. It's not the easiest, the most obvious to use, but there's no way you're gonna accidentally let the volume slide and go really loud, because boy, can this pump out uh, a lot of volume. The other thing I occasionally did at the very beginning was touch, because you're used to, say, moving the volume like this, you and accidentally press one of the buttons there. Um, you just learned that you can actually just do it like this, put your weight here and moving that up or down, or you just hold it differently. Um, it's just muscle memory, get used to it. But going back to this, this um, imbalance, whew, huge um, change in performance, more detailed, a lot more detailed, more dynamic, um, and just a whole different ball game using this. Um, you probably could get away with using this unbalance, but there is a lot more uh, micro details um, and musicality when using that 4.4. So if you can, it's always if you're gonna and you're buying this, you buy this because you want that balanced output. Anyway, let's move to another headphone. So here we have the Sennheiser HD 600. Again, it's configured 4.4 balanced. Um, these are one of my favourite headphones, old timer. I prefer these um, over the 650s and the 6XX, uh, just my personal preference. I really like these. Now, with the uh, X-Duo 05 balanced and with the full voltage at 13 volts using 4.4 high gain, I mean, these are just simply out of this world on that uh, device. Absolutely fantastic. They haven't, it puts an energy and a drive into these that really bring these to light. Now these sound fantastic with tube amps, but the x even though it's using two Sabre DACs, because of its op-amp internals 
and all the other bits inside it does give it a bit of that analog feel so you get the pre precision you get uh, the, the, the clarity and instrumentation the micro details and that superb energy that you can get with a headphone like this so very very good I will go through um, just generically the mids, the treble and bass and sound stage in a second once I've just gone through these the headphones, I've got one more pair I just want to sort of illustrate. Here we have the Hi-Fi Man Aria with stealth magnets. It wouldn't matter if you had the Sundara or anything similar like that. This headphone um, sounds fantastic through the XGO. This is a very fast moving articulate, detailed, moving, engaging headphone. And the XGO just brings the best out on this ferocious pace, really, really good. And again, as I said, this is running in balance. So now I'm gonna talk more about the uh, sound quality, and we're also gonna discuss um, briefly op amps. So before I talk just about sound quality, um, in the box, as you saw, there were these uh, replacement op amps. The ones that are already pre-fitted are, in my opinion, better than these. These were okay, a bit warmer, but I think the ones that are already installed are the ones to keep. Um, they sound terrific. They are slightly laid back, but they have, they're non-offensive, and they do a good job across all different headphones. I'm gonna do another video where I'm gonna compare the X-Duo to the iFi XDSD Gryphon and I'm going to compare this with also in that same video which will be coming very soon um, with the default op amps and also uh, changing the op amps for a Burson V5i-D and then comparing it to the Gryphon so there'll be two different comparisons within that. Going back to this uh, thing so it's a very powerful um, device it can be used in sort of a desktop on the desktop when you just use external power it has a lot of power so I would say even in low gain even with the voltage set to 8 volt um, you could find that with some very 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 sensitive IEMs even in the unbalanced that you won't be moving that volume gauge hardly at all Now that's not a problem because this is really stiff and it gives you a lot of precision moving it very slowly um, but it will go loud probably too quickly with some IEMs that's my view um, but the advantage is this can drive anything I mean there might be the odd headphone this can't drive I'll be surprised and not just drive but drive well really well um, I have got to say I despise manufacturers that make headphones that are bloody awkward to drive I and mean, really really stupidly awkward there is no point you know there's so many good headphones coming out now that are so much easier to drive but I don't mind something like the you know the, the Sennheiser HD 600 series that is quite comfortably 300 ohms no problem a difficult planner to drive no problem at all uh, it has very punchy good bass there is no bass boost on this but it has good bass sticks out that bass the mids are fantastic very lifelike engaging lots of detail this, that so those two saber dacks are very very detailed but the other parts within here make it a bit more analog sounding so it's the best of two worlds and then you have that treble and that wonderful sound stage this is truly remarkable for its price um, it's about four hundred and fifty, four sixty uh, dollars, something around that figure. Um, really remarkable. But then, with the screws that you get, you can take off and slide out the internals and swap the op amps for something even different or better, and actually upgrade this yourself in minutes. That's the next video where I compare it with the Gryphon. You may have lots of questions below or lots of questions to ask me put them down below and i'll answer them this is gavin from gavin's gadgets take care guy guys bye for now